In the early hours of a seemingly ordinary morning, David stirred from a restless slumber, his mind haunted by fragmented dreams of emptiness and silence. As he rubbed the sleep from his eyes, an unsettling stillness permeated the air, as if the world had been stripped of its usual background noise. Puzzled by the eerie quiet, David made his way to the window, expecting to see the familiar bustle of the city streets below. Instead, he was greeted by a scene of utter desolation. The once lively streets now lay barren, devoid of any sign of human presence. Cars stood abandoned, their doors left ajar as if their occupants had vanished in the midst of their daily routines. A growing sense of unease settled in the pit of David's stomach as he searched for any indication of life. He called out, his voice echoing through the empty streets, but no response came. The only sound that greeted him was the haunting whisper of the wind, carrying with it an inexplicable sense of absence. Desperate for answers, David turned on the television, hoping to find some explanation for the unprecedented situation. However, every channel displayed nothing but static, a harsh reminder of the void that had seemingly engulfed the world overnight. His phone, too, offered no solace, as all attempts to connect with others were met with an ominous silence. As the weight of his isolation began to sink in, David's mind raced with possibilities. Had some catastrophic event occurred while he slept, wiping out humanity in an instant? Or was he trapped in some surreal, waking nightmare, doomed to wander a world devoid of human connection? With each passing moment, the questions multiplied, and the eerie stillness seemed to close in around him, a suffocating reminder of his newfound solitude in a world unravelled. Driven by an inexplicable compulsion, David ventured out into the abandoned city, his footsteps echoing through the empty streets. The once vibrant storefronts now stood as hollow remnants of a forgotten world, their displays frozen in time. Silence hung heavy in the air, broken only by the occasional gust of wind that swept through the vacant boulevards, carrying with it an unsettling sense of absence. As he wandered through the desolate urban landscape, David's mind grappled with the impossible reality before him. The city, once a thriving metropolis teeming with life, had become a ghostly shell of its former self. Everywhere he looked, he saw evidence of human presence abruptly severed. An unfinished coffee cup on a cafe table, a newspaper fluttering in the breeze, an empty stroller abandoned on a street corner. Desperate for any sign of human connection, David began to search the empty buildings, hoping to find someone, anyone, who could shed light on the inexplicable situation. However, each doorway he crossed revealed only more emptiness, a haunting reminder of the void that had consumed the world. The eerie stillness seemed to mock his efforts, as if the city itself had become a labyrinth designed to entrap him in his solitude. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows across the lifeless streets, David found himself drawn to a particular building, a towering skyscraper that loomed over the city like a sentinel. Something about its imposing presence called to him, as if it held the key to unravelling the mystery of humanity's disappearance. With a sense of trepidation, he entered the building, the cavernous lobby swallowing him in its embrace. Inside, the skyscraper was a maze of empty corridors and abandoned offices, each room a snapshot of a life interrupted. David navigated the twisting hallways, his heart pounding in his chest as he searched for any clue that could explain the world's unravelling. As he delved deeper into the building, a growing sense of unease crept over him, as if the very walls were whispering secrets he was not meant to hear. Little did he know, the skyscraper held a dark truth that would challenge his understanding of reality itself. As David ascended the skyscraper's empty stairwells, a growing sense of unease settled over him. The higher he climbed, the more the building seemed to twist and distort, as if the very fabric of reality was unravelling around him. Shadows danced along the walls, their movements just beyond the edge of perception, hinting at the presence of something sinister lurking in the darkness. With each step, David's mind grappled with the impossible situation he found himself in. 
the world he once knew had vanished, replaced by a surreal landscape of absence and silence. The skyscraper, with its labyrinthine corridors and abandoned offices, seemed to embody the very essence of this unravelling, a physical manifestation of the void that had consumed humanity. As he reached the upper floors, David stumbled upon a room that stood apart from the others. Its door was slightly ajar, a sliver of light spilling out into the darkened hallway. With a trembling hand, he pushed the door open, revealing a scene that defied explanation. The room was a chaotic jumble of papers, charts and drawings, all covered in frantic scribbles and cryptic symbols. At the centre of the room stood a massive board, upon which was pinned a web of interconnected photographs and news articles linked by a tangled network of red string. David approached the board, his eyes scanning the images and headlines, trying to make sense of the madness before him. The photographs depicted scenes of emptiness from around the world, abandoned cities, deserted highways and silent forests. The article spoke of strange phenomena, unexplained disappearances and whispered rumours of a coming apocalypse. As he traced the red strings connecting the pieces, a chilling realisation dawned upon him. This was not a random collection of information, but rather a map of the unravelling itself. In that moment, David understood that he was not merely a witness to the world's disappearance, but somehow a key player in a cosmic game he did not yet understand. The room, with its cryptic clues and unsettling revelations, was a testament to a truth he had yet to fully grasp. As he stood there, surrounded by the evidence of an unravelling reality, David knew that he had no choice but to follow the trail of breadcrumbs, no matter where it might lead. For in this world of absence and silence, the truth was the only thing left to cling to. Armed with the cryptic knowledge gleaned from the chaotic room, David descended the skyscraper's stairwells, his mind reeling from the implications of his discovery. The photographs and articles, linked by a web of red string, painted a picture of a world on the brink of collapse, a reality unravelling at the seams. As he stepped out into the empty streets once more, the weight of his newfound understanding settled heavily upon his shoulders. David's gaze swept across the abandoned cityscape, seeing it now through the lens of the revelations he had uncovered. The emptiness that surrounded him was not merely a result of humanity's sudden disappearance, but rather a symptom of a far greater cosmic upheaval. The very fabric of existence had begun to fray, and the world he once knew was but a fleeting memory in the face of the impending cataclysm. As he wandered through the desolate streets, David's mind raced with questions and possibilities. What role did he play in this unravelling? Was he chosen by some unseen force to bear witness to the world's end, or was he merely a pawn in a game beyond his comprehension? The cryptic symbols and frantic scribbles he had seen in the room haunted his thoughts, taunting him with their inscrutable meaning. In the distance, a strange light caught David's eye, a pulsing otherworldly glow that seemed to beckon him forward. As if drawn by an invisible force, he began to move towards the light, his footsteps echoing through the empty streets. With each step, the world around him seemed to shift and distort, the boundaries of reality blurring like a half-remembered dream. As David approached the source of the eerie light, he found himself standing before a shimmering portal, its edges crackling with energy. The portal pulsed and swirled, a kaleidoscope of colours and shapes that defied comprehension. In that moment, David understood that this was no ordinary phenomenon, but rather a gateway to a truth beyond the veil of the world he knew. With a deep breath and a sense of trepidation, he stepped forward, allowing the portal to engulf him, ready to face whatever lay on the other side. As David emerged from the shimmering portal, he found himself in a realm beyond comprehension a vast ethereal expanse where the very concepts of time and space seemed to dissolve. The landscape before him was a kaleidoscope of shifting colours and shapes, a surreal tapestry that defied the laws of physics and reason. In this strange, otherworldly realm, the boundaries between dream and reality had blurred, leaving David to navigate a world that existed beyond the veil of human understanding. 
As he ventured deeper into the ethereal expanse, David began to encounter fragments of the unraveled world, ghostly echoes of the people and places that had vanished from existence. These spectres, frozen in moments of their former lives, seemed to call out to him, their voices a haunting chorus that whispered of the cataclysm that had befallen reality itself. With each encounter, David's understanding of the unraveling grew, piecing together a terrifying truth that threatened to shatter his sanity. In the heart of the ethereal realm, David stumbled upon a vast, pulsing entity, a cosmic being of immense power and unfathomable purpose. The entity, a swirling mass of energy and consciousness, seemed to hold the very threads of reality in its grasp, weaving and unravelling the fabric of existence at will. As David approached the entity, a voice echoed through his mind, a voice that spoke of the cyclical nature of creation and destruction, of the inevitable unravelling and rebirth of worlds. The entity revealed to David the true nature of his role in the cosmic tapestry. He was a chosen witness, a harbinger of the unravelling, tasked with bearing testament to the end of one reality and the birth of another. The weight of this revelation settled upon David's shoulders like a mantle of destiny, a burden he had never asked for, but could not refuse. With a heavy heart and a sense of purpose, he accepted his fate, ready to face the consequences of his newfound knowledge. As the ethereal realm began to fade around him, David found himself back in the empty streets of the unraveled world, the portal vanishing behind him like a half-remembered dream. The cityscape, once a haunting reminder of humanity's absence, now appeared to him as a blank canvas, a space waiting to be filled with the stories and dreams of a new reality. Armed with the knowledge of the unravelling and his role within it, David set forth into the silent streets, ready to embrace the uncertain future that lay ahead. For in a world unravelled, the only certainty was the enduring power of the human spirit and the endless potential for rebirth and renewal.